Right guys, this is a quick clip uh, use, to set up a mission using the new app we've been talking about and that is the Q Ground Control app. Um, to be able to use the app, you have to first download the app from the Apple Store and then importantly you have to uh, link the Bluetooth part of your cell phone uh, to the Bluetooth module that's now installed in your boat. Uh, once you've paired those so it's an available apparatus on your phone um, then you can use the app then you can start using the app all right so this is the screen that you're going to see when you um, switch the app on or select the app and you, unfortunately you can't see what I touch as I touch it but I'll, I will try to describe the icons and where I'm moving to so looking at the screen now we've got in the top left hand corner we've got the Q icon if I touch on the Q icon uh, it will bring me to uh, to this page on the left hand side it says general com links offline maps etc and down the center will be all the devices that are available or that have previously been connected uh, to your to your phone if your boat is now paired with your cell phone and you run down the list you should see your name uh, there's a Sean and there's a Q and okay if that is not on here but okay fine uh, so this boat belongs to Q I'll select Q click on Q and then I will push connect manual flight mode and after pushing that the cell phone will start to connect via Bluetooth to the autopilot uh, it's downloading the parameters at the moment these are parameters that are basically programmed at the factory uh, some you'll have access to, some you shouldn't change, and some you will perhaps need to change. I will explain that further uh, a little later. Alright, we're back to this screen. Okay, so now I want to create a mission. Um, again, looking along the top taskbar, we are currently on Q, and if you look, the third icon from the left basically looks like a skid mark. It's, uh, it's actually a, uh, the icon so the icon for, um, for, for waypoints, so it's the third one, I touch on there, that brings me to that screen. Now, looking at it like that, uh, okay, the first thing I want to do is, okay, on the right hand side, now that I've connected to the boat, the red arrowhead is, rep is, is, represents your boat, and the point of the arrowhead is the direction or where the boat is facing. So if I turn the boat, you'll see the arrowhead actually moves. Okay, so turning it now I'm basically pointing it in the direction that I wanted to leave it's very difficult to know where your boat's going to go to or where you should place your waypoints um, if you don't if you don't have a reference of the arrowhead so it's important to connect first point the boat in the in the direction that you wanted to travel or, or sail um, and then create your mission with the arrowhead as the reference point Okay, so starting now to create the mission, if you look along the left hand side of the drop down window, it says plan, it says take off, start by pushing plan. I wish my fingers would work a bit better. Okay, touch the plan, it brings up another window, it says blank survey, corridor scan, structure scan. No, we want a blank, we want to create our own mission, click on that. And on the right hand side of the screen, it now says create plan. Uh, no, yes, yes, we do want to create a plan. All right, again, back where we are located on the edge of the bank of the estuary, uh, arrowhead facing out into the water, and the first thing that we have to do is to mark the takeoff or launch point. So, click, oh, click on, have I got that down? Click, there we go, so I've got a takeoff point, and now I'm going to, okay, so that's my takeoff point, is basically where I'm launching, and I'm going to now put my first waypoint in. All right, using the arrow, the arrowhead as a reference I'm going to take my um, oh by the way you should first move the takeoff slightly into the water because if you leave it you might be on the bank and then the boat when you when you go to auto mode it may actually try to turn around and go backwards and actually start from higher up the beach so move the takeoff point into the water um, bring it down in line with the point of the arrow something like that right now create, now mark your, your next waypoint. So let's just say we take a point there. Looking, at, looking along the top taskbar, it will now tell you the distance that waypoint two is from the takeoff point, and it's only 72 meters. So if I move that away to the right a little bit, um, I can now drag waypoint two, and I can drag it, and I can drag it. 
for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to drag it to 134 meters. So let's, let's even make it 100 meters so that we can actually see the boat using, using the phone. I'm going to use the arrowhead as the reference again to get the line straight. Okay, so that is the spot at which I want to drop my bait. That you could drag out, let's say, to be safe, somewhere around 500 to 600 meters maximum. Um, I wouldn't take it much further than that. It feels scary. Okay, so having marked the first waypoint, this is where you want to drop the bait, but you want it to happen autonomously, automatically. So you, you mark another spot very close to it. Okay, and that's going to become an instruction, not really a waypoint, an instruction. But we can't, we can't change it to an instruction just yet. So for the moment, we will, we will leave it like that. Uh, and now we'll start the return route. Obviously, once you've dropped the bait off, you want the boat to travel a little bit to one side. Let's just make it like that. And then from there to travel back not too far away from your line but far enough not to interfere with the line and then you'll bring it back to a spot say there you can drag that up like that bring that there now essentially you don't bring it back to the shore at that point you it's, it's called a rally point you bring it to a point where you like the boat to stop where you can then manually activate rtl or, or sail the boat in manually depending on what the conditions are of the water near the shore okay so that is the mission um, we are happy and we now have to qualify that uh, position three or waypoint three because actually it's an it's, it's an instruction so we're going to now disconnect you, unfortunately you can't you can't you can't qualify it until you disconnect so once once more go back to the window go back to no we don't want to do that we're back to the com links and now we disconnect and now back to the mission and now we select the waypoint that we want to qualify so we're going to mark three because as i say we're going to use that that spot as a qualification for two if you look on the right hand side of the screen um, and i touch on waypoint it will bring up a screen on the right that says basic and we click on that that will bring up another screen and we'll see halfway down the screen it says advanced we we'll click on advanced there we go advanced and now you scroll until you find a thing that says set servo click on set servo which servo is it it's servo number six click on six click done so servo six is done and now um, what do you want it to do? What do you want Servo 6 to do? You want it to open and the throw value, click on that, is 1948. Have I got it right? 1948. Done. All right. Now, if you look carefully at the screen, you'll see that waypoint 3 has disappeared. It's gone. It's 1, 2, 4, and 5. So, as I said, 3 was actually just an instruction and it qualified what was supposed to happen at waypoint two what i'm going to do now is i'm going to launch okay well i'm going to launch the boat and then i'm going to take a video um, a video clip of the boat doing exactly what i've created in this mission uh, but i'll continue with this screen for a moment uh, i'm going to just show you how you can arm it from the cell phone if i click back on the icon go back onto uh, that that screen let me see where am I? oh sorry uh, now, now I have to connect again because I disconnected to be able to qualify the waypoint. So I do have to connect again. So I click there, go back, and now I'll go to connect. There we go. Disconnect. Select queue. Connect. Manual flight mode. Okay, it's reconnecting once more, downloading the parameters. Right, there we go. Now we're going to click on the mission, which is the flying bit. Okay, this is this is one of the most important parts of this entire video and operation of this app it says start mission and so the inclination would be to immediately start the mission by sliding the little arrow in the center of the page to the right 
But you cannot do that, you must not do that, you must never do that until you have armed the boat. If you don't do that, starting the mission before you've armed it will actually move. It's a quirk, but it will put the boat into a programming mode. It will put the, the speed control into programming mode and you'll lose important factory set parameters. So, very important, tell you three times, when you see this screen, don't start the mission, go to arm, in fact you can disconnect there, go to there, go to arm, it says disarmed, uh, to the right, okay you want to arm, now you arm it, um. now it says armed, okay now you can, okay it, it changes now, it says continue mission, well that's fine with it start to continue, we haven't started so we'll say we're going to continue mission, now you can place the boat in the water, and if we move the slider to the right, the boat's going to take off, and I'll take a video of that.